We have been talking about the assessment in the outcome-based education, as it is an essential part of it. There will be assessment at different levels, at the course outcome level, program outcome level, and program objectives. The purpose of the assessment is to know the status and the performance of the program. It is for us to identify the strength and the weakness of the program so that we can propose improvements at various levels in order to increase the quality of the program as a whole. Now let us discuss in detail regarding the assessment. Assessment is a process of measuring, collecting and analyzing the data. The purpose here is to analyze the achievement of the intended outcome. When talk about the assessment, these are the common questions that we need to ask ourselves. First, who to assess? Who are the target? We can do the assessment from the individual students or a group of students. The purpose are different. When we do the assessment on the individual students, we would like to know the performance of that particular students, whether the students can cope with the requirements of the course, and also whether the students possess the required graduate attributes at the program levels. The basis here it will be more towards the individual performance both at the course level and the program levels. Sometimes we we'll also do the assessment based on a group of students. The students can be a group of students taking a course within one semester or a specific cohort of students depending on the purpose. Let's say now you want to know the performance of the course for one particular semester then your targeted assessment it will be towards the group of students taking that particular course in that semester. Let's say now if you want to know the performance of the program, most likely you are looking into a cohort of the students going through the entire program, see if the entire cohort of the students acquired the desired graduate attributes meeting the program outcome as they complete their academic years. Now the target of the assessment it will be mainly on the students. This is especially for the route here in terms of the quantifications of the students' performance from the CO, PO and PEO. However, if you are looking to verify the PO and the PEO levels, Ultimately, you are looking into the performance of the students, graduates, or alumni. Now, the assessment is targeted to the stakeholders, probably the graduate here, and the stakeholders, alumni, employer here. You need to be clear what is the purpose of your assessment for you to decide who to assess. Second question what to assess? Normally, we look at the attainments of TO and CO. TO stands for Topic Outcome, CO stands for Cost Outcome. We also want to look into the Cognitive, Psychomotor and Affectives. When we do the assessment, we want to know whether the students can cope with the lesson or the topic delivered. We also want to know whether the students can fulfill the requirement of the course. Based on the result as acquired from the CO attainment, we are able to foresee the possibility of attainments at the PO and the PEO levels. And then in terms of the assessment, depending on the purpose and the nature of the things that we would like to assess, if it is the psychomotor, then we are looking into the proficiency in terms of the skills as demonstrated by the students. That will be the P part here. 
if it is cognitive we want to know the ability of the students to have the knowledge synthesize the knowledge apply the knowledge and so on so forth we also would like to know their attitudes and the behavior over certain things in order to create awareness as well as to build up the professionalism and ethics among the students sometimes we also do the assessment on the curricular see if the curricular is up to date is it thorough enough covering all the essential topics as well as the field of studies as required under that particular program whether the curricular is optimized any redundancy the relevancy of that particular curricular and so on so far as the knowledge profile complex engineering problem solving complex engineering activities sustainable development goals those are a part of the curricular to be incorporated within the engineering program there should be assessment on those things you need to make sure there are assistance of these elements within the curriculum also you need to make sure those elements are introduced at the appropriate levels they are relevant achievable and really plays important roles in build up the qualities of the program there will also be assessment in terms of the ability of the students to meet the respective requirements under those elements now the next question it will be why do we need to do the assessment for the OBE of course this is meant for improvements it is only through the assessment we know the strength and the weakness of the program OBE help us to pinpoint where are the weakness so that we can focus our improvement specifically towards the witness the improvement can be in terms of the curriculum instructional practice as well as the student services it is not only in terms of the curriculum probably there are witnesses in terms of the teaching and learning method or there are some limitations in terms of the assessment tools the assessment help us to identify that so that we have some directions for the improvements another reason for the assessment is as the gatekeeping this one is specifically meant for assessing the performance of individual students or a particular cohort when we do the assessment we will know that whether that particular students or cohort really meets the intended requirement if they do not fulfill the requirement ratifications will need to be made helping students to meet the requirements before the students are discharged into the industry those not meeting the standard theoretically cannot be allowed getting through the gate here also we would like to ensure the sustainability of the program as well as the institutions of higher learning you know that the purpose of the institutions of higher learning is to service the community and the industry it is only when we are able to provide program meeting the demand of the industry bringing positive impact towards the local community then the institutions of higher learning has the ability to have sustainable growth over time this is especially when come to the private universities where financial sustainability can be a great challenge next is about the accountability you know that institutions of higher learning as well as a program ultimately is servicing the stakeholders those are professional works where the relevant service cannot be provided by anybody without proper training and qualifications 
Now the society entrusts the higher learning institutions where the institutions entrust the school or faculty to ensure and maintain the quality of the graduate as discharged into the industry. We need to be accountable on that. This is not only for good reputations, it is also for the benefit of the society and country in whole. Next, it will be for the accreditations. Probably this is the greatest motivation of having the assessment. This is part and parcel of the accreditations. Each program are entrusted to do self-review, identify the weakness internally, benchmark with the peers, as well as the standards stipulated by the accreditation bodies. The ultimate goal here is to maintain the quality as well as to acquire the accreditations. That's why we need assessment. Now the quality of the program cannot be stagnant. The entire industry is growing. There will always be improvements, upgrading in terms of the requirements as identified by the accreditation body in order to better meet the demands of the stakeholders. Next question is when to do the assessment. This one will be very much dependent on which levels that you are talking about. What are the purposes of the assessment? The assessment can be done weekly, by semesters, by annual, by academic cycles and so on and so forth. In fact, there is no standard formula when you need to do the assessment or how frequent you need to do the assessment. Just that you need to bear in mind that the assessment should be done just enough for good results. Try not to overdoing it. This will result in unnecessary good looks to the lecturer as well as the program manager. You can even do the assessment daily, but is it necessary? Will it be too sensitive that leads to undesired noise in terms of the assessment results? You may also do the assessment every two years. Now the question is the sensitivity in terms of the measurement. Are you able to keep track with the progressions of the students and the achievement of the programs. So when you do the assessment, you need to know which levels of outcome that you are assessing, what are the purposes, and also the durations for completing one cycles. And then work out the suitable frequency in order to monitor and also to confirm the attainment status of the respective outcomes. The next question it will be how to do the assessment. Are you talking about the formative or summative assessment? When you do the formative assessment, it is mainly for monitoring. The assessment result is not ultimate. There are still opportunity for you to rectify for better output. As for the summative assessment, it is for us to confirm the final status of the achievements. The outcome will be conclusive and the relevant assessment should be more thorough in order to avoid bias. You will need to do evaluations as well in order to acquire the final outcome of the assessment. When talk about the evaluations, it is not just identifying the attainments and non attainment We will also look into the weaknesses and the strength, as well as look into the effectiveness of the improvement program as executed previously. The ultimate goal here is to ensure continuous improvements of the programs.